Hey there, welcome. We're gonna move through a morning routine, mobility routine, specific for lower back. So if you've got a stiff, uh, sore or um, tight level back, this is gonna be a really great routine to do for you. So starting standing here, slight bend in your knees, bring your hands down your thighs. We're gonna start with some pelvic tilt. So tucking under with your tailbone, rounding the lower back and then extending the spine, sticking your tailbone out. So we're just opening through the back and then dropping it forward, mobilizing the vertebrae in that lower back spine. Just a few more here, rounding, extending, keeping the rest, the upper back, the neck long for four, three, two, and one. So good. Now we have to mobilize the upper back, so to take pressure off that lower back. So start standing, pelvis facing forward, hands forward, opening up through the right side as much as you can without losing your pelvis here. Bring it back, keep the pelvis straight ahead, rotate through the opposite side. So just one side at a time, two, three, then hand, you can follow with your eyes, two, opening without extending through your rib cage. So keep everything aligned here. Last one, so nice. This time right leg crosses over the left. So we do make this position here. My left hand is gonna reach over for a side bend. I like to reach the arms in opposite directions, opening up the side body, the QL, the rib cage, and then pull it back in. Inhale, exhale. You can play with the breathing. You might like to inhale as you open, exhale as you return, or the opposite. See what feels good for you. Good, the last one here, we'll hold. Take a few extra deep breaths into this side body. Think about fanning the ribs open. <sighs> Try not to drop this top shoulder forward. See if you can maybe even look up and then unwind. Other side, so we cross over. Right arm this time reaches over as I stick that hip out, open into the side bend, inhale, exhale. Do the breathing that feels good for you. Really nice, two more. Last one here, and this time we're gonna hold it. Good, fan these ribs open, get space between your vertebra. See if you can tilt that top shoulder back a little bit here. Nice work, and coming back up. Feet hip width apart. You can create a little bit of tension in the body here as we slowly articulate and round the spine. One vertebra at a time for a forward fold, rounding forward. You can have a soft bend in the knee if that feels better for you. And then rolling back up. Good, inhale at the top, exhale. Starting at the top, articulating down one vertebra at a time. Rounding that back and then rolling up. We'll do that one more time here. Articulating, rounding each vertebra. Really nice. You can finish at the bottom here and bring the hands a little way forward. You may like to separate your feet a little bit here. Sink the hips down to a squat and then bring the hips back up. And again, sink the hips down, chest lifts. Bring the hips back up. One more here, sink the hips, lift your chest, bring the hips back up and roll all the way back up to the top. This time, right foot in front, left foot back, hip square, feet forward, we hinge this time. So it's an active hamstring stretch, getting that hinge through your spine, no rounding of the back, and then bring it back up, actively use the glutes, use the back of your hips, so hinge, and up, you should get an active hamstring stretch and length here. Use it to come back up. Hinge and up, make sure the hips are square. Hinge and up, last one here. Hinge and up, we switch feet, slide back, other one steps forward, hips square. We hinge and up, getting this hinge, this ability to hinge through our spine without compensating and rounding the back, so good. So handy pattern to have available to us. Two more here. Exhale, come back up. Last one. And up. We're going to come down to all fours. 
for a little bit of core work here. So we start on all fours, neutral spine. So no rounding or extending, find somewhere in the middle. Right knee hovers off the ground, left arm reaches out in front. We hold here, stabilize through your body, extend that right leg out, pull it in. Extend and in, hip stay square, keep the breathing going, the ribs to the back body. Good, four, three, two, last one. Pull it all in, other side. So we're working through this cross body, left knee hovers, right arm extends, we go out and in. See if, imagine there's a glass of water balancing on that lower back here. We want to keep that as still as possible. We want to maintain our breathing, not hold your breath. Four, three, two, last one. Yes, good. Tap the toes, lift the hips, sweat down dog. Have a little pedal out of your heels here. One up, one down, or maybe a little rock from one hand and foot to the other. Just rolling it out any way that feels good and helpful. Maybe bending the knees, pressing back might feel good here. Drop the knees, bring the hands a little way in front, sink the hips, easy up dog, opening the shoulders. Maybe looking over one shoulder or the other. And then reaching back, we're gonna lie onto our back to finish here. Have a little seat and roll yourself down. I like to hug my knees as I roll down. Easy squeeze. Bring the feet down, lift the hips right onto the side and the knees are stacked. Now make sure those knees aren't far away, 90 degrees. My hand is gonna rest on top. If it's too much, you can always put your fist in between. This right arm is gonna open out for a twist. You can look up or you can look towards that arm. And then we take some big deep breaths here. Bending those ribs open as we breathe, getting the movement happening in our spine as well. Letting our body unwind. Slowly come back through your middle. I like to lift the hips up, come right up onto the side, stack those hips, hands on top of the knee so that stays nice and stable. And then I open through the opposite shoulder, either looking up or all the way to the opposite side for a full twist. Maintaining those hips and knees stacked, take your attention to your breath. Last full deep breath in, long breath out. So good, coming back through your middle, hug your knees into your chest here, roll like a ball, round the spine forward and back so there's no clunks, nice and smooth. This is an easy free massage along your spine muscles here. Just a few more, round and back. Last one and up. Amazing work, I hope your lower back feels connected and open. This is just a little taste of what we offer in our longer format movement classes inside our memberships and courses. So reach out if you have any questions at all and we'll see you soon.